Today on Yellow Jacket Garage, I'm going to watch Burke do some work because, well, that. So today what our mission is, is we're going to revisit putting the uh, C8 on the quick jacks because when I did it last time, the video was pointed out that uh, I could have been a little bit more descriptive. I'm going to try to get in Burke's way as he's trying to work, but uh, it could have been a little bit more descriptive. And so basically this is going to be a quick video. We're going to show you what contact points we use to get it up in the air so that it lifts comfortably, safely, and you have a solid lift so you can do what you need underneath the car. So hopefully it works out that way. That's the goal. So let's get after it. All right, so this is the BL5000 SLX is the, the quick jack that I have. Um, we positioned it with the labels to the front of the car. They point to the front. And where we're sitting, let me see if I can get a good angle, is on the frame flat. We used the uh, tall lift block that comes with the quick jack. We're almost to the front of the jack. The idea is we want to get the, the quick jack itself as far back as possible rather than having it up close. And so we've got it sitting on the frame rail on the flat. You can see the hole right there. That's where one of the um, where one of the jacking pucks would go. And then there's another spot further back. We could have put it further back, but we're on frame, so I think we're safe there. Now let's go ahead and move towards the back. Yep, let me okay, so let me see where we're at on the back. So cut me a sprout. I do have the broke wing, so let me see what I got going on. Uh, Burke has put that piece of black tape to indicate where he, we used it last time, but we actually used uh, the frame flat a little bit further back this time. And so, get a better shot, better angle. It's gonna really suck. But anyway, up there where the frame kind of uh, um, triangulates, it all kind of comes together. And that's where we put that lift block. You can see it deflecting just a smidge, but you're never gonna get these quick jacks exactly square. So that's part of that. But uh, it lifted straight, lifted solid, and everything is really tight the way it should be. Um, if you're using a different version than the SLX, you're going to have slightly different points. The uh, 7000 is longer, so you have a little bit more room with it. I think with the 7000, you can actually get to the front jacking pucks, but uh, or those those mounting points. So. Really, that's about it though. It, it works good. Just take your time. Uh, make sure you get your quick jacks as straight as you possibly can before you do your lift so that uh, you don't have them kind of pigeon toed or, or uh, I don't know, what's the opposite of pigeon toed? Uh, duck, duck, duck toed, whatever. Your feet pointed the way they should be. So, anyway, um, as straight as possible, lift it slow. Kind of pay attention, recheck everything, make sure it's not sitting on any plastic, on any fender parts. As long as you're sitting on steel, you should be just fine. So hopefully that explains things a little bit better than uh, it was explained last time. And somewhere either in the description below or in uh, um, up top somewhere, I'll, I'll link Burke's video so that you can see what he did because he had all the maps and all the uh, information that's in his video. So it kind of spells out all the jacking points uh, we didn't use all the jacking points. We used the rear jacking points and then the front we used frame rail, but we feel confident with it because it is sitting on steel. And if it's sitting on steel, then it should be solid because no matter where the holes are, if it's the same piece of steel, I would hope. And uh, if it does make a difference, well, then shame on GM for it. But anyway, this worked out pretty well. Uh, we're happy with it. The, the lift is really solid. The car's sitting up great. Um, as you can see, we're actually, uh, well, Burke is actually changing the oil. And uh, dang. well, with this with this jack, he made a heck of a mess under there. Oh my god! No, I'm just kidding. Hey, wait, man. There's a little bit of oil. You're you're not going to change your own oil without these things splashing because when it comes out, it's like a cow pissing on a flat rock, man. I mean, it goes <laughs> everywhere. So anyway, be prepared for that. So with these jacks, the pucks are going to be closer in. Um, so that's why. That's also why they're kind of positioned where they are. And also for the C8, the C8, I believe, is more rigid. It's got, you yes, know, I the, think so. the way it's built, it's a much more rigid car. So you're not going to have that weird flexing like you might on some of the prior generations of Corvettes. So 
that is not something to be overly concerned with. Like Brian said, just make sure that they are as perfectly parallel as you can possibly get them and squared off as well. Yeah. So yeah. And that's Burke's explanation too. And I mean, look, he, he's kind of got that whole James May look going on, so. <laughs> I do feel like James May. See? I can be just as weird as him too, if you want me to. Did you get knighted? He did. It depends on how you. I think he did. How you interpret that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Nowadays, anyway. that could mean anything. <laughs> that that is true. Um, so the, the the knights are not as noble as one would seem <laughs> or assume. Yeah. No. Uh, anyway. Yeah, I drink from standard regular goblets. Standard goblets, not the lead goblets. <laughs> All right, so there you have it. Uh, that is what we did and how we uh, set it all up and mirrored both sides. Easy, solid lift, no concerns on our end. Just take your time as you go up with the quick jack, go up slowly. Um, you can see the, the quick jack, if it looks like it's kind of acting weird or you hear those moans and groans of the, the jack blocks that are trying to shift or something like that. And then drop it down, reset it a little bit, kind of get it lined up. Just don't put it on any plastic. There's plenty of steel under there for you to put the lift blocks on. Use the steel and uh, get the jacks as far to the rear as you can. Should be just fine. Anyway, hey, thanks for being here. Uh, hopefully this has explained it a little bit better than last time with a little bit more descriptive video and commentary. So again, thanks for being here. Thanks for watching Yellow Jacket Garage. And, uh, if you haven't already done so, go over and check out Burke's channel at Road Odyssey. Um, I'll link it in the uh, description below because I'm not sure if I'm going to have it in the video or not, but if I can figure it out, I'll do it. If not, then look in the description below. It'll be there. So thanks for being here, and uh, as always, we'll see you on down the road.